Hi everyone, my name is Grace. You are welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about sewing machine. It's quite different from what you have known me for. And I would like to thank you all for stopping by and subscribe to my channel. If you are watching for the first time, I would like you to pause the video and click the subscribe button. Then put on the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime I post a new video. Quite a number of people have asked me what type of poly, um, sewing machine should I buy as a beginner. So I thought to put this together so that everyone of us can see it and answer your questions. So there are different types of sewing machine in the market today but today I would like to talk about three sewing machines that I know of anyway. So we have the manual sewing machine, we have the domestic which is also known as a um, tabletop and we also have industrial sewing machine. I would like to talk about them one after the other so that you can decide which one is suitable for you to buy. I would like to talk about the manual sewing machine. It's quite common around here, especially here in Nigeria, it's quite common. The manual sewing machine, these are the ones that we see around the blackhead sewing machine. These are the ones we call manual sewing machine. They are pedaled manually. That is, you pedal it with your leg. Whether there is light or there is no light, you can always work with your manual sewing machine. It is a bit stronger than a um, domestic sewing machine. It's actually a bit slower. You know, you have to pedal it. Even if you pedal it with your leg faster, you know, it can't be as fast as industrial sewing machine. It's a bit slower. You have to control it with your leg. So even many of us, fashion designers, many people, many people started with manual sewing machine. But if you have, if your if your electricity is so constant, you can buy a pedaling a the pedal the pedal. You can buy the pedal to pedal it along the way, and you it, it will give, still give you the same results, just like every other one. So secondly, I would like to talk about the domestic sewing machine or tabletop, as we all know it. Tabletop just. As the name implies as well, they are made with a plastic body. They are made with ball. I think they, there are some others that are more stronger that can sew well. But here, yeah, the one that I've seen so far, they are all these fragile domestic machines. They are quite useful for traveling. If you, if you want to travel and you, you know that you are going to be needing it, you are going to sew one or two things, you can just carry it along it is portable can be carried anywhere so and it is used to sew a lighter weight material they are no it, it is no strong stronger like a um, manual sewing machine you can always use it to sew a lighter weight materials a lighter weight materials then just carry it along like those people that that um, that are so brother yes if you want to go and fit with your with your bride, if you are traveling, you can take it along and do any adjustments you want to do in your clothes. Well, maybe you want to go and deliver some dresses to your customers, so you can just bring it along in case of any adjustments. So it is quite portable to carry it along to anywhere you want to go to. Another thing about domestic sewing machine is that it has different stitches, different beautiful stitches that you can use to design your dresses. So you will enjoy that, of which you don't have it in manual sewing machine. Another thing I would like to talk about the um, domestic sewing machine is that it is fully electric. That is, you can't use, use it without electricity. Once there is no electricity, you are not able to work. So basically, if you don't have lights, you have to wait, you have to put on your generator or wait for the light to come. Another thing is that uh, they are computerized. Whatever you are doing there, you can always check the stitches. You can see it on the screen as well. They are all computerized. I mean, 
domestic sewing machine are all computerized. So another thing I would like to talk about is the uh, industrial sewing machine. It is quite faster. It saves you a lot of time. Industrial sewing machine doesn't require so much maintenance. All you have to do is just to change the oil once in a while, then clean the surface. Just general cleaning on the body. That is it. That being said, another thing I would like us to look into is some factors that you should consider when you are buying a sewing machine as a beginner. There are some factors you should consider. First, you have to consider the electricity. If you know that your electricity is not stable, you can buy a manual sewing machine. Especially if you are going to be using it for commercial, so that you don't get stuck whenever there's no light. That you can you, you, you won't be telling your customer, oh, there's no light today, that's why I'm not able to deliver your job. No, it's not possible. So if you know the light is not stable, you don't have regular lights, you can always buy a, a manual sewing machine to save you the stress. So another factor you have to consider when you are buying the sewing machine as a beginner is uh, the strength and the functionality especially if you are going to be using it for commercial use check the strengths check the kind of job you are going to be working with if um, with this particular one whether domestic industrial or manual sewing machine will be suitable for it just try and consider the kind of work you are going to be using it for before you buy it if, you, if it's going to be for the home use you can buy a domestic sewing machine so that you can actually move it around whenever you are traveling you can take it along i hope i've been able to answer all your questions about buying a sewing machine as a beginner so it is now left for you of all i've said to choose which one is suitable for you just consider all the all the things I've said in the video in this video to determine what you are which one and which one are you going to buy. So thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.